So the other day, while I was mindlessly browsing through YouTube, I get an ad for RPG Maker, advertising the software as a way for you to make RPG games without needing a single line of code. And I got two thoughts. The first one being that it would actually be super cool to make an RPG game because I love RPG games and I'm not really into dealing with a lot of code right now. And the second thought was, wait, didn't I actually pay for the software like years ago and I actually forgot that I had bought it. And so I went on my emails, looked for RPG Maker and it looks like I actually got a copy of it in 2018 and I paid $70 for it and I completely forgot about it. And so I was like, well, it looks like it's time to get it back. <laughs> and so I downloaded RPG Maker MV and here we are. Let's make an RPG game, everybody. Also, as you guys know, I'm stuck game-wise at 1999 circa, my idea of like a great gaming experience is still RPG games from the 90s. I don't know if you guys know, but there's this little gem of a game um, from 1990 something. You may not know about it because it's very underrated. It goes by the name of Chrono Trigger. If you've never heard of it, just give it a try. It's a fun little game, no big deal. The art is pretty cute. I hope that the artist, you know, get famous one day. And so while I started doing a little bit of research of RPG Maker and what you can do with RPG Maker, I found out that not only there are a billion plugins on for RPG Maker MV, because MV is the version that I have, but that there's also a Chrono Trigger based plugin, which allows you to have a comment system like in Chrono Trigger. And I'm genuinely surprised that this is not big news like why hasn't the world be taken by storm by the fact that you can actually make an rpg maker game with a combat system like chrono trigger and so i had to just download the plugin and play with it so i download rpg maker i'm super excited i have all the plugins but there is one little problem which is the art you guys know i enjoy making my own art but right now with a lot of things going on uh, in my life i just wanna focus on the rpg making part and not necessarily making an entire tile set from scratch and so I did a little bit of research and found this amazing tile set it's called time fantasy from final boss blue final wait let me wait what is what's your name man final boss blues go support the artist I found all sorts of tile sets and characters and monsters and there's just everything that I need to make a short little RPG maker game and I support the artist on patreon and I got a bundle with all of the tile set and all the art that I needed and so with that and the chrono engine let's just have a look at what I've got so far which I'm super excited about because it really took almost no work on my side in terms of coding because everything is just coded in RPG Maker MV and it allows me to just be creative which is something that I really need right now. I have a lot of work from my PhD and all I want to do is just sit down in front of my PC and just have fun making the RPG game. At this point I basically had everything that I needed and I just went full creative and I made some amazing maps. You guys are not gonna be ready for what I'm about to show you. I've got a central village which it's it's, it's got three houses okay so it's it may not um satisfy the requirement for a village but but it is a village <laughs> and um from this central village you can go to the forest and in the forest you've got wasps oh boy be careful of the wasps everybody um the wasps are a real threat let's have a look at the comment system because it's honestly a lot of fun it's basically turn-based but you don't uh go in a separate screen so you just stay in in the screen so it's more immersive from that point of view and basically you wait for your turn uh and you can select an action so you can attack uh, you can use one of your skills you can guard you can use an item you can fully customize all of the skills that you like uh, by using the built-in system in rpg maker mv as well as all of the options from the plugin and the plugin is amazing by the way like go support the artist i'm gonna leave in the description down below all of the information about the art and about the plugin so as you can see on the side you have a timeline showing the character and the enemies and when it's your turn you can do an action and you can also choose choose whether you want the time to be stale so basically when you choose an action the timer stops or you can have it full dynamic so basically while you choose the action the enemies can still attack and you can still lose the battle 
I really like how dynamic and how fun this system is um, and I can't wait to create my own skills and just tailor the game around my original ideas. On top of this combat system, I really wanted to play around with a different idea and something that really stuck with me was this idea of treasure hunting and on you collecting hints and each hint points towards another hint and then another hint and at the end you have finished your treasure hunt um, and you are rewarded with some key items. And I've just played a little bit around with the built-in event system in RPG Maker and by just using some very simple um, conditional loops, some if else statements basically, I was able very easily to create this very simple system in which you collect a hint and a hint is defined as a key item within the item system uh, in RPG Maker. And basically when you collect one hint, it tells you where the next hint is and the next hint event is only active if you have the respective hint. And it makes it so that you can really have a nice hint going on. I'm gonna show you right now the whole quest um, that we made um, um, live with the community. It was a lot of fun. The idea is that you need to get into uh, the hut from Douglas. Uh, we don't know who Douglas is. We don't care because here we're just expressing our creativity and uh, just having fun. And as you can see in here, you go in front of Douglas house and there's this box. You get a hint there and then you go to the second hint and then to the third hint, etc, etc. I'm just going to show it on screen and you can have a look. It's going to be very clear how the system works and it's just a lot of fun and almost no code required. And, and I don't know, it's just, it's just fun. Like I feel joy out of it. And with these two systems in mind, uh, the combat system, which is basically done thanks to these um, RPG Maker MV plugin wizards <laughs> and the treasure hunting system, I love to just be creative and make a short RPG game, everybody. It's a brand new day, it's a brand new project, and I'm all for it. Do I have goals moving forward uh, for this project? The answer is both yes and no. Yes, I love to work on this project, but I love this to be an exploration of RPG Maker MV. I really want to see how much it can push the software and what can be done and what cannot be done uh, by taking advantage of both RPG Maker MV and all of the great library of plugins uh, that has been built up over the years. If you do a little bit of a research online, you see sometimes a bit of a stigma around RPG Maker MV games because you end up being very limited of what you can do. But at the same time, I'm personally not aware of the limits and I already see that uh, with what's already there, I I can make something that I'm 100% satisfied with. And if I can make a game that I'm proud of within the limits of RPG Maker MV, so be it. Like, honestly, yeah. I mean, I don't mind using a product that I paid like real money for. And if I can use those systems without having to build them up from the ground myself, so be it. I told you guys, I'm more interested in the art and the storytelling. And uh, like, if there is an item system that works in this game, fine. I tried building an item system in Godot and it's interesting, but it's not necessarily my cup of tea. So yeah. <laughs> and with that being said, everybody, I feel just so inspired and excited. And I hope that this is gonna, you know, carry on in the future and i just want to share the this new journey and this new project and i hope that you enjoyed it as much as i do and with that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day and i'll see you all in my next video slash live stream bye everybody